Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. In this video, we'll solve a JavaScript problem where we are asked to create a curry function. The curry function returns a function and that return function takes a number as an argument or as an input. Every time that return function is invoked, it will sum up the number with its previous calls. So let's say when I invoke the sum first time, and I pass 5 as the input. So because the total was, uh, it is being invoked first time. So the total remains 5. On the next call, if I pass 3 as the input to the sum. So it will do the total with the previous value. And the value becomes 5 plus 3, 8. So it will return 8. Similarly, on the next call, if I pass 4 as the input to the sum function. It will total the 4 with the previous values. And the total will become 4 plus 8 that is 12 and it will return 12. And on the next call if I pass 0, so 0 will be summed to the previous value which is 12 and then it will return 12. So basically the return function totals or sums the input value it receives no matter how many times it is called. So let's start implementing this curry function. This is a simple problem based on the closure technique. So what we can do is we'll create a curry function and inside that we'll use a variable to track the total. Now because the curry function returns a function right. So we have to return a function from here and this return function takes a number as an input. So by default I'm keeping the default value for the number as 0 so that we don't get any NAND for the undefined values. So all we have to do is we have to sum this number in the total. So every time the return function is invoked with a number, its value, its input will be summed up with the total value. And now that we have sum, all we have to do is return this total. So now if you see Let's print this output of this so that we can verify if the sum is getting called, we are getting 5 or not. So if you see, five is, we are getting 5 as a value. Similarly, for the other calls, if you see, so we are getting 5 plus 3, 8 as a value. And if we do it for all the subsequent calls, we'll see the result as expected. So it will print 5, 8, 12, 12. So 5, 8, 12 and 12. If you don't pass any value to the sum, right? So it will take default as a 0 and still it will work. So we'll still get the value as 5, 8, 12 and 12. This is a simple JavaScript problem. It's a variation. So we have solved a simple version of curry in the coming forward videos. We'll be solving multiple variations of curry. So to understand curry better, it really helps in the interviews. And as it goes forward, right, the curry problems becomes very complex because there are very uh, lots of variations to this problem. So in the next video, we'll see another variation of the curry. Thank you for your time.